What is up you guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Armada, the singing nurse. So today we are going to be talking about the first luxury brands that I have purchased for myself as you can see. And we are going to be doing an unboxing video and we are going to be comparing the cross body bags that I have purchased from these different brands. So if you're interested, please stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay guys, so today we are going to be unboxing the first luxury brands that I have purchased for myself. I know it's a totally different content that I have shared with you guys before. So my main content is actually sharing my love for music and my love for singing. But today we are going to be doing something totally different. So just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I am actually not into these luxury brands or these high-end brands growing up. When I purchase stuff or when I purchase items, I really don't look at the brand. I am actually really particular with my money. I really like to save up for things that I actually need. So growing up, I actually don't have any idea or any knowledge about you know these high-end brands. Like I was totally not interested in purchasing these kind of brands. So what changed is when I moved to Australia, we actually have um, the fashion capital here in Melbourne, Victoria. So it is a huge mall with different boutiques with different brands. And a section of that mall is where all of the luxury, all of the high-end brands are. So the person that really influenced me to open my mind or open my heart to these kind of stuff is my sister. She has always loved luxury brands. She loves bags, she loves clothes, and she's very particular with the brand. And also my friends, especially my friend Zarla, my best friend back in college. She is actually an, an event stylist, so she's really um, aware with all these um, you know, styles, what's in, what the trends are, and um, you know, these high-end luxury brands. So they have been encouraging me for so long to actually invest in a luxury brand because they want me to, you know, venture into other stuff. So recently that happened. So I have decided to purchase my very first luxury brands and before I actually get to use them every day, but some of these items I have already used, I would like to do an unboxing video to share with you guys my experience in purchasing these luxury brands. So a lot of you guys out there actually have the same dilemma as me growing up. Um, I know some of you are actually very particular with the stuff that you buy and you think that these brands are way too expensive, that you don't need this kind of stuff. And I understand that. Definitely, definitely my first advice is always spend within your means. Like if you have a little bit of extra money that you think you really don't need in you know future references, you can actually you know treat yourself with these kind of stuff, but always remember to prioritize. So I have been working as a nurse for almost 10 years now, and I believe that I have worked hard for whatever I buy for myself, and I think I deserve them. So today we are going to be unboxing three different brands. So we've got the Prada phone case leather holder, and we've got the Louis Vuitton Christopher wearable wallet, and it's also a crossbody bag. And of course, the last um, item that I have purchased with you guys is a Dolce & Gabbana perfume that I have bought for myself. So let's get started. The first luxury brand that I have purchased for myself is from Prada. So this is their paper bag, as you can see. There you go. We are going to open this little cutie for all of you. I actually have already worn this before, but today I'm going to open it up again to show you guys. So it comes with this box. There you go. It looks so classy and it looks so classic. Like Prada has been a very famous brand for many, many years. The item that I have purchased from Prada is called the phone, the Safiano leather phone holder crossbody bag. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the inside. So we've got the authenticity card. There you 
go. Ta-da. And it comes with this cover inside. There you go. So this is what it looks like when you open it fresh from the box. So it has this cover at the front. This bag is really great because it actually has a magnet um, clip lock, as you can see. So when you close it, you just have to press it like that and it um, automatically um, secures your stuff from the inside. So again, this is called the Safiano Red Phone Holder. So this is a crossbody bag. So I just would like to show you guys um, what it looks like closer. So it's got the classic inverted triangle metal logo from Prada at the front. It can be a detachable bag as well. So it comes with this little strap. So you can either remove it and then just carry it as a, a simple phone holder like this. And you can insert it within one of your bigger bags. But I prefer to wear it as a cross body bag because I like to... When I go around the mall or go out with my friends, I like to have my hands free and then just wear it across my body. So you can actually wear it like this. So as I said, it's a cross body bag. Or you can also wear it um, around your neck. I have seen some people who have worn it around their necks like this. So, you know, when you go around or when you travel or when you go to the mall, you can just get your phone and your essentials, you know, here from here. Or you can also wear it as a shoulder bag. So just put it, you know, at the side like that. I will be showing you some pictures of how I have worn this Safiano Prada phone holder crossbody bag. So as you can see on your screens, those are the examples of how I have worn this bag. The length of this Safiano phone holder leather bag is 18 centimeters and the width is 11 centimeters. So I'll show you guys what it looks like from the inside. So that's what it looks like. What you can just really put inside is your phone. So I've got my phone here. So this is an iPhone. Um, and I've also tried putting a Samsung in because I know S Samsung phones are longer than iPhones So it can actually fit so you put your iPhone there Inside and at the back which what I really like is it has a card holders so in Australia when you um, Go out you need to carry with you a valid ID so you can put your driver's license in that space there where it has the transparent cover but aside from that it also has a little space at the top here so it has a little space on this part here at the top aside from the card holders so you can put some of your cash in here or if you've got extra cards because this the ones that are outside only holds three cards so you can put some of your cards from this in this space here there is a story on how or why I purchased this bag because I was just randomly going in Prada store and I was looking for a bag obviously. The sales assistant actually told me that this bag is about to be sold out and it's seasonal. So when you say seasonal, it's not always out in the market. They don't really produce this sort of products when it's seasonal. So this was the last bag in the whole country of Australia when I saw it. So I think um, it was meant for me to buy it because it was the last of its kind. Yeah, it's Safiano leather. That's the type of leather it is. And it's um, the color is um, red and it's very unique. I'll be showing some clips as well. Some close-up clips of the item that I have purchased. Yeah, I am very happy with this um, purchase of mine. So it's really, really good. Next item that I am going to be showing you guys is, of course, the classic 
Louis Vuitton brand. So I was really hesitant at first. Um, I was having second thoughts if I sh if I should or should not buy a Louis Vuitton because I am a beginner. I am just starting to invest or to be more knowledgeable with these high-end brands. Most of my friends actually have been telling me that if you are starting, you should have a Louis Vuitton. So this is another crossbody bag. But before that, I'd like to show you I really like their paper bag because it's so classic and I love the color. And it comes with this um, blue handles as well. And I really like the box of Louis Vuitton. So this is how it looks like. There you go. Also with this item, I have already worn this and uh, I was just so excited to wear it because it's one of the first Louis Vuitton that I ever, you know, had in my life. As I said, it's also a crossbody bag and it's called a Christopher wearable wallet crossbody bag. So inside of the box is, you can see this, and it comes with these, um, with this dust bag. And, so this is the Christopher wearable wallet crossbody bag. So I just want to show you guys, you know, closer. That's what it looks like from the back. And that's what it looks like from the front. Um, and I want to show you guys the zipper closer. There you go. And it comes with this strap. So it's a matte black leather strap. So that's another reason why I like it because, you know, the strap is actually leather as well. So it can last you a very long time and it has a really good quality. So the reason why I bought this bag, actually a little story again, is this is actually not the first Louis Vuitton that I actually purchased. The very first Louis Vuitton that I purchased was a checkered messenger bag, one of their newest designs or their newest items. So that bag honestly was not really cheap. It's actually a little expensive. So this is what it looks like. This was the first bag that I have purchased from Louis Vuitton. I like it, but I'm not really drawn into it. Like I, I feel like if you purchase luxury goods or luxury items, you should really, 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 really like the brand because you are investing in it and it's not just uh, any amount of money. So, it, you know, it's your hard earned money. So you have to really like the item that you're purchasing and you have to know that you're actually going to wear it. So what I did was I returned the messenger bag, the white checkered messenger bag and replaced it with this one. So this Christopher wearable wallet crossbody bag I'm really drawn into this. It's because it's a simple design with the um, classic Louis Vuitton monogram design, and it's uh, it's simple and as I said, like it's made of cowhide leather. It's made of cowhide leather, so it's very uh, the quality is amazing and it's going to last you for a long time. And again, I'll show you guys on how you can wear it. So obviously, it's a crossbody bag, so you can wear it like that. You know either sides you can't actually wear it around your neck like the Prada phone holder leather bag because it's not gonna look great on you but you can also wear it as a shoulder bag like this there you go and um, as you can see on your screens like those are the pictures of me showing on how I have been wearing this Christopher wearable bag Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like from the inside. So the length of this bag is actually 15 centimeters and the width is actually 8 centimeters. Surprisingly, it can hold a lot of stuff in it. I have worn it before and I have placed a lot of stuff inside. So let me just show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So that's what it looks like on the inside. There you go. So it's very spacious and at the back, you can actually see that there is a 
card holder compartment over there. So it's three. So you can put three of your important cards inside. So I can actually put my phone, my car keys, and I know this is a wallet bag, but you can still actually put a smaller wallet inside. So you can put your wallet inside here, and you can put your you know, power banks, it's an essential when you go travel, and there you go. Like, it fits, like it can hold a lot of stuff inside. And aside from this huge compartment, this main huge compartment, there's also a little pocket from, uh, on the outside. So there you go, like it's a clip-on pocket. And it's also very spacious, like there you go. So you can put like your, your, your coins or you know, your cards or whatever little stuff that you can put or you need to put in your bag. So you've got the big stuff on the main compartment and you've got the small stuff on your pocket right here. And the last luxury brand that I'm going to show you guys is the Dolce & Gabbana perfume. This is what it looks like from the inside. This is um, the box that comes with it. So it is the Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Desert Oud. There you go. There it is. So it is obviously a um, men's perfume, but it smells so good. It smells so good. Like it's one of the best perfumes that I ever smelled in my life. But aside from the smell, I'm, I gotta be honest with you guys, the reason why I really bought this brand or this item is because of the box that comes with it. Look at that. Isn't that just, you know, really classy and it looks amazing. So this is the box on the inside. There you go. So this is how you open it. Ta-da! There you go. So the box is just, I don't know, It's I like it. So that's one of the main reasons why I bought it. So this is the perfume, the actual perfume, the Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Desert Oud. It smells so good. Um, so I really recommend this to the guys out there. Yeah, it smells so I wish you can smell it, um, but yeah. Go over to Dolce & Gabbana when you've got the time and then look for the um, Velvet Desert Oud, gentlemen, and then it is, it will change your life. It really, really smells good. There you go. Okay, so that is it for today. Thank you so much guys for staying with me throughout this video. So just a little bit of a um, lesson, of course, like I know these stuff are, it's not for everybody and then I respect you. That's what you think of it, but for me, these are like symbols and representations as well of your hard work and your hard-earned money. Like um, obviously you still have to prioritize, you still have to live within your means, but if you want to treat yourself and if you really want to invest with quality items, so I suggest you get yourself one of these high-end luxury brands. It will last you for a very long time and it's it's a classic piece like you gotta have at least one of those in your lifetime so also with other men out there i understand that um you think that these stuff are actually just for women but it's actually not like being fashionable doesn't actually pick any type of gender like it's for everybody it makes you confident and it makes you feel good about yourself so yeah, thank you so much guys and please stay tuned for part two of my unboxing of my first luxury items that I got for myself. If you want to see more videos, please, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video as well and please leave me a comment if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And I would really appreciate it as well if you click the notification bell so you would be notified every time I post a new video. Have a great day or a great week ahead of you guys and thank you so much for staying with me. This is Michael Armada the Singers and I'll see you next time. Bye.
Bye.